everybody, this is Roxy and I just posted a video on filling and layering in the Cricut and I asked if anybody had questions or if they wanted to see a, a tutorial on how to fill a pattern or upload a pattern not fill a pattern but upload the patterns to the Cricut design and a couple people already said yes so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So first of all it's very easy, here's your desktop, we're in design space you click on upload and you can either upload an image or upload a pattern. The patterns can be um, have any of these um, extensions so just kind of be mindful of that. And you can either browse for the pattern which if you click on that your menu will come up. I like to just drag and drop it so I just go to my die cutting file. I keep everything that I buy in this file or anything that I download or anything that I create I put in this file. So um, we'll see what I already got that. That means I've uploaded the patterns and I've just started doing it. I have some in but not all. <coughs> Give me the next one I was working on was from Lori Whitlock and it was autumn, okay. So I have I think I have I think I have two done. Anyways, I know I have yeah, okay. I'm going to do this one. I like to rename them on here, you know, because I first can go through this while I'm waiting for the pattern to upload. I can go back here and rename some. So I'm going to call this uh, Rick Rack, which is my nickname from when I was little. And I'm going to drag that over to this desktop. And then you can give it some tags or themes. So I'm going to call it miscellaneous. It's a fall. I'm going to do Thanksgiving fall. And quite honestly I think that could be Halloween-ish. So you can just go by what you want. And I don't see Halloween. Oh there. I mean it even could be Easter. So I'm going to do all those. It's kind of a stripe geometric uh, maybe geometric stripes and then it's multicolored so we're gonna do that so I'm gonna save it and this is the part that really takes a long time so what I do is I have another design space window open and I'll just do the same thing with the next one and it's fine to do you're not gonna hurt anybody And um, so it's miscellaneous, Thanksgiving, fall, polka dots, orange, save. And then we'll go back here, and it's still working on it. So then you, I wouldn't open another one. I only do two at a time. But now I can go back and name all these guys. So I've got, name this one polka. This one is green stripe, I think. I think I got it in there. And gotta get rid of that hyphen. You know, I have to get rid of the hyphen. I should have left them in. Because now I gotta get rid of all of them. And then. I just see now that the one window is done and you can start another one. But instead I'm going to go to the canvas and show you that it is in there. So we're just going to fill this one and there's 
the four that I've done so far. So the um, polka is still being worked on. So we can click on that. And there it is. Or you can change your mind. It's a little slow. It's a little slower than the silhouette. And I am not sure why because it's all on that magical cloud. Most of it is, I think. Actually, maybe it's not. Because the stuff I have on my silhouette, I have it all in the cloud. I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know how any of this works. I just know that it works. Sometimes. So, I hope that helps. And again, if you have any questions, just give me a holler. I can... If I don't know how to do it, I will easily figure it out for you. And, um... Thanks for watching. Bye.